Hey guys, Takara here and welcome back to my channel. And we are finally on the finale of Grimm season one. It has been quite a lengthy journey this, but I have loved it. And things are really, really getting spicy now. So I'm excited to see how they lead into season two as well. Don't worry, I will be doing reactions to season two, guys. So stay tuned. Unless they rip my heart out and kill Monroe in this, then maybe season two might not happen. I hope I haven't just jinxed myself by saying that. <laughs> but yeah, let's roll that intro and get stuck into it. Here we go. We shall not be death, but a sleep of a hundred years into which the princess shall fall. Why are you? Why does this show always scare the crap out of me? It must some. It must be something to do with that growl. It gets me every time. Poor Hanke. He's so confused. He was hit. He was knocked out. He was a little dazed. But I mean, he saw Bringer off change. <laughs> He's a good actor, Hank, isn't he? He is a good actor. What is this? Hello. I found your friend. It's time for you to get on a plane. Portland. To Portland. What'd you get from Interpol? File on Akira Kimura. Oh, yeah. Akira Kimura. The guy's responsible for killing your parents. It's a great way to start your day. He's here. Well, Portland governor, sir. Where's Marquesa? I found a lot more than him. Okay, and this... This is going to be good, this, isn't it? I've got something very special for you. you what are you doing with the car? That's good. What did she just do? You want to be my partner. This is the guy. Marquesa went after. That's him coming out of his condo. I got names and addresses on all of them. You need me. Not anymore. You've just given everything? <laughs> is it, it? What a dumb thing to do. Because he literally gave him all the information and was like, yeah, you need me. Uh, well, no, he doesn't. Because <laughs> you just spilled everything. Adeline. Hi, Juliet. Adeline, what What's are you doing? Way? Wasn't sure if I should come by since things didn't work out with Hank. You know. Oh, stop. I don't take my patients based on their owner's social lives. I'm glad you came in and I'm glad you brought your cat. Oh, my God. This cat is adorable. Look at it. It's hooking her. Oh, you seem to have the touch. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, it's an occupational hazard. I'm sure she didn't mean it. What has she just done? What have you just done, Adeline? Oh, well, the way he moves is terrifying. Download's done. Let's see what this guy was shooting. It's not something too gross. Could be pictures of yourselves. Yeah. What the hell? Was this guy watching us? I don't know. Better find out. Right, we better tell the cats and I'll call him. Oh! <gasps> oh no, Patty. Oh my God, I'm Bennett. Gonna need a change of underwear. Where the coin? Where the coin? Where are they? So these coins are still sought after and they always are going to be, aren't they? I told you, I don't have the coins. Um, maybe just make up something because he is going to slice you. He's alive. His housekeeper's not. That, that's real looking and it, it's bothering me. If he didn't wind up with the coins, who did? 
Well, maybe he got rid of them before this guy caught up with him. I don't think this guy thought so. That's why he's here in Portland. He had photos of all of us, me, Nick, and you, Captain. He had a tattoo side of his head. Sounds like the picture of the guy out of New York. What picture? Akira Kimura. Who is he? Kimura is tied to a secret organization called the Dragon's Tongue. It was founded in 1901, connected to the Japanese Imperial Army. You want him alone and not in an interrogation room. So you want a little grim time? Yeah. I could probably help you with that. <laughs> you don't know what's going on here, Juliet. Then isn't it about time you tell me? You go yeah. to the doctor. I told you I'm not going to a doctor till you tell me why you're acting so crazy. Is it? Is this it? Is he gonna say? Is he gonna take her to the trailer? Oh my god! I've, just, I've got chills. Something started happening to me. I have waited for this for so long. This trailer is filled with things you can't believe. Is he, is he going to tell her about Monroe? It's the history of my ancestors who were not stay with me. Sort of like hunters. What did they hunt? The vessel. See, this is where it gets a little difficult to explain. Yeah, you're going to have to try. I know. I know. I know how this must sound, but I swear to God it's all true. Look, you want to see who Adeline really is? This is what Adeline really is, a hex and beast. Juliet, you got to read some of this stuff. I mean, the stuff that's in English, because most of it's in German. And... Oh, she's, she's not taking him on. She thinks he's crackers. Talk about the crazy lady that abducted her. The dragon... Pure or whatever it was, she was called. Nick, please stop, okay? You're really scaring me! I don't want to scare you. I just want you to know the truth. She's going to take him to Monroe. He's going to take her to Monroe. Okay, Juliet. Monroe's going to show you something right now. Nick. Just wait. <gasps> She's going to faint. Juliet, remember what you're about to see. She's going to faint because of what Adeline's done. It's just me. Juliet? Oh, God. What you happened? This. What did I do? I, 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 it wasn't her. you. I told wasn't you what would happen if... Look, this doesn't have anything to do with you. I can't believe this. She was a split second from seeing Monroe. Ma'am? Hey. Hey, stay where you are. Robin, stop her. I wonder if this is going to be like one of Aunt Marie's friends. Look, Nick, I know you're hoping the doctors are going to be able to do something for her, but you saw what happened to Hank. You saw what happened to your sergeant. I mean, and Wu, like... Your hands on that cat, man. You need Rosalie. You need to get Rosalie. Oh, hello, Magique. You don't look very sick to me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably the one. How's Juliet? We don't know yet. I'm so sorry, Nick. You think you can figure out what this is? I'm just relieved that they've gone to her. I wonder what Adeline's goal is here, though. I thought she'd end up siding with Nick. Is Juliet home? No. Well, don't let her go home. She's in the hospital. What? What happened? Is she okay? I don't know yet. But I can meet you at your place. No. You stay, you take care of yours. All right. And call for backup. Don't worry. That will come in handy. So you want to take that to Rosalie, please? Oh, no. What does that even mean? What's happened to Juliet? Is this going to be the cop? Oh, no, it's him. He missed. You are the Grim. You have the coins. Give them to me. I'll give you this! You find what you're looking for? She's not attacking him. She isn't attacking him. She's going to be on his side, isn't she? I knew it, you know? I knew it. She's going for him. Is she a Grim? Nick. Nikki. It's me. 
Mm-hmm. Fuck off! You know, I was thinking, I was gonna say, I was gonna say mum, but then I saw her and I was like, she looks nothing like him. Ah, that's why I went for Aunt Marie's friend. There we go. There we already go. We've got a show here, guys. <laughs> We've got a ruddy show. It's getting good now. It's getting really good. There's so much though that I want to know. And the fact that that episode has ended there as a season finale without giving us any answers <laughs> whatsoever. Love that. Tell me they were convinced that they were going to get a, a season two. Because if not, that's kind of messed up. Imagine that show cancelling with that as the finale. It's no for me. I'd have been fuming because I still need answers with Hank. Like, he looks so lost, so gone, so confused. He's doubting himself. He's spiralling. We've got Juliet not believing a ruddy thing that Nick's saying, but poisoned somehow with Adeline's concoction and stuck in the hospital. We've got Nick's bleeding mother here. Huh? And then we've got Monroe trying to help with Rosalie to sort out Juliet. But then this bad guy who has been hit now by Nick's mum. Like, I just, I've got so many questions. I thought they would give us a, a few more answers than what we got. Like, that was building and building. I feel like this should have been a two-part of this. They should have had episode, what, 21 as this one, and then 22 as like a, a carry-on, I think. Don't get me wrong, as finales go, it was brilliant. We haven't really got answers that then lead into season two. They've just been really brutal and gone, Sodja, I'm gonna make you question everything. Bye-bye. <laughs> and then leave us waiting. Oh. A flabbergasted. The way that season this season started, so slow, like, well, to be fair, episode one, the pilot just sort of threw everything at you, didn't it? Like, setting everything up. But like, the majority of the season, hella slow. And then the odd episode that gave you like, a lot of excitement and interest. And then that finale that was just intense as anything. And I did love it. I genuinely loved it. I'm just, I'm greedy for the answers more than anything. I don't know what Adeline is actually up to because like I said in the reaction, I just figured that she would be more inclined to follow Nick now because uh, Monroe and her mother just abandoned her and left her. So I thought she would, you know, want revenge on that and maybe side with Nick a little bit more because she didn't really understand why she was doing these things against Nick. She just was doing them to please Renard. Tell me she's still not after pleasing Renard because, girl, open your eyes, love. They literally abandoned you. Sack them off, in my opinion. But we'll just have to wait and see what, what she's got up her sleeve, I guess, like what her motivations are. Nick spewing word vomit all over Juliet in that trailer and and Juliet just being like oh my god he's lost his mind to be honest it kind of confused me because literally the night before or the episode before she was saying about how she believes that you know Bigfoot might exist oh so you're willing to believe that but then so shut off from everything else did Nick turn around to you and say oh you you're crackers you've lost your mind you you're this you're no, he just sort of gave her a look, which was like a, mm, you might be a little bit mad. Well, that's it. Whereas she was like, you need help. You need to seek help, blah, 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 blah. Did she forget about the DNA that she was looking into and all the rest of it? Is it so far-fetched then? I feel like Hank's is more believable because he's been hit with everything. He got that love potion thing set on him and then there was the confusion there. He sees all of these things at work that he's somehow people explain to him what's happened. But you can see that his mind's like, well, oh, that was a bit odd. And then to physically see something change and have your partner who you trust say, Hank, come on now, we just need to go. You didn't see anything. You can't blame the guy for thinking, I am losing my mind. I'm cracking up or like something's after him. Whereas Juliet seemed more like 
open to the idea of some sort of human animal hybrid situation you know what i mean i don't know what i do know is that i loved it i really loved it and i want to thank you all for joining me along with season one journey honestly it's been amazing and i'm very lucky to have you here and i hope to see you for season two as well i definitely will be carrying on i want to know how this goes i've heard that each season you know gets better as well so i'm excited for that and uh yeah thank you so much and i hope to see you for the next one <laughs> bye guys for those that don't know, I have a Patreon where I have extended and exclusive videos over on there and I've been sharing all of my grim extended videos over there as well. And I just want to take this time to give a special shout out to the following patrons. We have ACP, Anitusar, Anoush, Becky L, Butterflies, Chris H, Chris M, Clint F, Lord David, Dexter, Johan, Joshua B, Kelsey P, Michael A, Michelle, Otter, Nicole D, Pentaholic James, Stormy River, Walter A and William L. Thank you so, so much for being a sponsor of my content. Honestly, your support just means so freaking much. And I'm very, very lucky that you found my content and you're willing to support me to create more as well. And without you guys, honestly, this wouldn't be happening. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you continue enjoying the content. If you would like to be a member of the DAC pack yourself, please click on the link in the description of this video. It should take you to Linktree where all of my socials, etc., are there. And I'd love to see you. Thank you so much, guys. Bye for now.